To my groom, on our wedding day. Dear Harley, we're getting married today. I love you so much, and I'm so lucky to be marrying such a kind and patient man today. Even though I've been a little crazy the last few months, Snapchat filters or not, today is all about our love and starting a whole new life together. I couldn't ask for a better person to walk down, to walk into this chapter of life with. Yes, I'm crying right now, and hope you are too. Don't be nervous about today, just think one box, underarm, twirl, and smile. I love you almost, husband. Love, Don Friedman for the last time. Wow, what an amazing letter. It's a promise I'm making to you Whatever may come, your heart I will choose Forever I'm yours, forever I do I get to love you I get to Dear Boomers, I'm so lucky and grateful that you chose and want to be together forever. You are my everything, and I look back and smile at all the great times we had had together. I can't wait for what's to come, and I love you always, Harley. Dawn, my best friend. <laughs> How lucky are we that we have such a close friendship? We are we have a sisterhood that goes beyond <laughs> living in the same house and having the same parents. When we were younger, Dawn was my me too. <laughs> uh, if I did something, me too did it. If I got something, me too had it. My Me Too always walked me into school, and she couldn't understand why she didn't get a perfect attendance award at the end of the year because she too was at school every day. My Me Too had my mom get her pom-poms so she could cheerlead in the stands at all of my games and competitions. Years later, my Me Too decided to go to the same college as I had, and then I became her Me Too trying to relive my college years. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Hi. Wow. Oh my god. <laughs> ah. Let's get married. Okay. <laughs> I got to experience what a fun, sweet, smart, <laughs> loving, and caring person you are. I mean, who has this many bridesmaids? <laughs> when, Dawn, when Dawn first told me she was having a basketball sized, basketball team sized wedding party, I thought she was going a little overboard. But now I get it. You make lasting relationships wherever you go, and you cherish everyone. We have shared enough laughs and bottles of wine for you to know how proud I am of you and how much I love you. I remember the day <laughs> that you told me about Harley. 
You told me you met a guy online from Canada who transferred to Florida because he was tired of the cold, who moved down to work for Apple because he bought a car online and was coming to visit you first. <laughs> while you were telling me all this, I was trying to smile and nod while secretly planning a way to get a GPS tracker into your purse before your first date. <laughs> Not long after your first date, you transformed your apartment into Canada. You made everyone wear scarves and mittens. You, put, you, you transferred your sink into a, fishing, a nice fishing pond, and you created a game called Pin the, Moose, or Pin the Antlers on the Moose. I knew from that day forward that you had fallen hard for Harley. And, that, and when you traded your cute tops for hockey jerseys, and weekends became for hockey. Harley, I feel like you are already my brother, and not because you and my husband are obsessed with each other, but because you and Dawn have such an amazing bond, and you are already part of our family. So now that I've been married for a year, I'm pretty much an expert, and I want to leave you some advice. Learn the art of compromise. Remember to put each other first and never shout at each other, unless your house is flooded. Now if everyone can raise your glass and toast to Harley and Dawn's love, laughter, and happily ever after, may today be your fairy tale and today is just the beginning. Cheers. <laughs>
in Hebrew? Uh, it's up to you. Okay. Definitely sign it in English if you want to sign in Hebrew too. But. Dawn, if you would look at Carly and say, Anili Dodi, Vido Dili, Vido Dili, I am my beloved, I am my beloved. You say you never cry. I know, it's all day. All day. Well, your name is right this morning. So if you would look at your bride, mm -hmm. look deep into her eyes with all the love that you have in your heart. Come on, more eyes. There we go, more eyes. There we go. And she's the one. Mm -hmm. And you Absolutely. know that she's the one. Yes. No one pulled a fast one on you. No. No, okay. That's Grandma Ann. It wasn't fast. You're going to say these words. Yibarech Adonai v'yismarecha. Yibarech Adonai v'yismarecha. Yadonai panav alecha v'yifanecha. Yadonai panav alecha v'yifanecha. Yisadonai panav alecha. Yisad and I found my vacha. Yisim lecha shalom. Yisim lecha shalom. And right, a failure right. Gently, gently. Not in very well. Too right? <laughs> <Be> short. <laughs> <laughs>
So as the two of you stand under the chuppah, I ask you to look deep into your bride's eyes with all the love that you have in your heart. And I ask you, Harley, do you take Dawn to be your wife? And do you promise that throughout your lifetime, whether in good fortune or in adversity, you will love her, honor her, cherish her, and protect her? If so, answer, I do. I do. And Dawn, as you stand here under the chuppah, look deep into Harley's eyes with all your love. I ask you, Dawn, do you take Harley to be your husband? And do you promise that throughout your lifetime, whether in good fortune or in adversity, you would love him, honor him, cherish him, and protect him? If so, answer, I do. I do. Let the voice of a bride and groom be heard by everyone here today, and let their voices be proclaimed throughout the universe. Today is the day that Harley and Dawn are consecrating their marriage vows to become husband and wife. Harley, when we first started getting to know each other, you called me every day on your lunch break at work. I knew I liked you the first morning I woke up wishing it was time for lunch. I knew I loved you during our first Jewish holidays together when it just seemed natural for you to be with my family. And I knew I would marry you the last day we saw your mom together when she gave us three pieces of advice for a long, happy life together. Two, we could do a little better with always using coupons and never traveling anywhere twice before we've been everywhere we want once. But the most important piece of advice I think we have a great handle on, which is including each other in everything we do. As we stand here today in front of our families and loved ones, I feel so honored to be marrying someone who makes me laugh every day and feel so special every single day, which I love. Um, my best friend. <laughs> I promise to never give up on our travel adventures to always provide the best color commentary when we watch hockey games or movies at home, and to love you forever and ever. I can't believe today is here. Who knew four years ago we'd be standing under the chuppah together? I've been so lucky to have you by my side since that June day when you took me for snow cones by the beach. Whether you're laughing at my bad puns or going along with my, with my latest crazy ideas, you've always been there, especially when times haven't been so great. This is how I know that you're the one. I know that you'll keep us going each day forward with love and kindness like you've always done these past four years. I love you always. Rings are very symbolic, you know, rings of circles. And our prayers are with you here tonight that your lives as husband and wife will be that of this ring out of this circle, a continuous and never-ending bond. Now, the two rings that you will be exchanging this evening are very special rings. Harley's parents, Jerry and Harley, blessed memory. They were married 42 years when she passed. And we know that she's here in spirit. She shines down upon the two of you. So again, these are special rings that have a lot of miles of and a lot of the life I understand. So when also the candles that are burning behind was purchased by Carla, when uh, she knew that you were going to marry this beautiful girl here that's across from you, I understand she wrapped it up and didn't tell anyone. She put it away and put for HK's wedding. In our traditions, we first place the ring on the right forefinger. It's known to be a direct line to the heart. So if you would look at your bride and say these words of tradition. Hare at. Hare at. Mekodesha li. Mekodesha li. Betaba at. Betaba at. Zo. Zo. Kodat. Kodat. Moshe. Moshe. Ve Yisrael. Ve Yisrael. May you don. Be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me. By this ring as my wife. By this ring as my wife. According to our faith in God. According to our faith in God. Our love for each other. Our love for each other. And the laws and traditions. And the laws of traditions. Of Moses and Israel. Of Moses and Israel. And Donna, if you would take this ring, place it on Harley's right forefinger. Again, being in direct line of the heart, the most meaningful. If you look at your groom and say these words, tradition. Hooray, Atah. 
Pareyata, Nikodash, Nikodash, Li, Li, Patabaat, Patabaat, Zo, Zo, Koda, Koda, Moshe, Moshe, Va Yisrael. May Harley be consecrated to me. Be consecrated to me by this ring as my husband. By this ring as my husband. According to our faith in God. According to our faith in God. Our love for each other. Our love for each other. And the laws and traditions. And the laws and traditions of Moses and Israel. Of Moses and Israel. May God bless you and keep you. May God's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God's presence be with you and always grant you a life of peace, health, and happiness. Okay, break the glass. Yeah. I clearly remember the day that Dawn told us that she met this Canadian guy on J-Day and couldn't wait for their first date with him, and the rest is history. Now a few words about the groom. I quote to you from Harley's 1992 nursery school report card. Harley continues to display good listening skills and a positive attitude toward learning. You don't need that with a wife. Keep practicing these skills, Harley. And Harley has a wonderful business he runs on his own. And 
We are just very happy to be having Harley as part of the family, and it's so nice because you and Neil are real brother-in-laws now. I'm Neil, I'm Don's brother-in-law, and some might say Harley's better half. Now, many of you probably follow Harley on social media, sites like Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And if you do, you know that Harley loves to use hashtags. So from here on out, this entire speech will be done as a series of hashtags. Are you ready? Hashtag, welcome to Kesselmania. Hashtag, she said yes to the Kess. Hashtag, J-date. Hashtag, Harley bought a car. Hashtag, moved to Florida. Hashtag, Starbucks mugs. No matter what the driving force was behind his move, it was the right call. Because, most importantly, it led him to Don. I didn't even know Don knew what hockey was until Harley came along. When I got the call from Don that the two of you just got engaged, I could easily sense her excitement. The two of you complement each other very well and get along so well together. Sensing that marriage was a distinct probability, Carla gave Harla and Dawn her blessing for the union just days before she died. Harley, your mom was a great friend to me and my family, and I'm sure she's here today. So proud of you guys and everything you are accomplishing individually and together. Hashtag Harley got his MBA. Hashtag Harley worked for Apple. Hashtag Harley worked for CarMax. Hashley, you, hashtag you are Harley. Hashtag Starbucks mugs. It's very easy to get caught up in external things. It's very easy to get um, to react to whatever's going on outside. Whether you have a personal business, whether it's your marriage or anything else. Um, the most important thing is to take a step back to not let it affect you and to always be who you are and be true to who you are. It's from the bottom of my heart that Harley is one of us now and Dawn is a Kesselman and we're all together a big happy family. I wish you, I wish you a lifetime of health, happiness and success together. May you enjoy only the best in life and may your kids inherit the best characteristics from both their future parents. Hashtag trips to Alaska. Hashtag Hashtag trips to Hawaii. Hashtag. We haven't spoken about this, Don, but I think it's a foregone conclusion that your firstborn son will be named Miles Kesselman. In fact, I'm pretty sure if it's a girl, it's going to be named Miles Kesselman, too. They say that when the groom steps on the glass, it's the last time he puts his foot down. And um, even though your writing for Smashing the Glass has finished, I hope you continue to smash records for how much a wife can love her husband. Hashtag bromance. Hashtag me and Harley. Hashtag makes Don and Jill a little uncomfortable. Hashtag it's okay. I only borrow him. You get to keep him. Hashtag I didn't forget about Dawn. Hashtag best sister-in-law I could ask for. Hashtag incredibly kind-hearted. Hashtag natural born leader. Hashtag if you follow her on social media, you know everything about Beachbody. Most important, you make my Harley very, very happy. You bring out, you bring out the best in him. After earning your college degree, you started a career in teaching and counseling. And I understand that you excel in both aspects of your job. Well done, Yashakaya. And Dawn and Harley, I have to say, they're both just wonderful. I couldn't be more proud of the woman, the young woman you have become, inside and outside. All a parent can hope for in life is that their child is happy, healthy, makes good choices and you have certainly done that you're smart ambitious dedicated and caring to name a few of your wonderful qualities i don't know where the time has gone but i truly have treasured watching you grow up we've had so many memories and so many milestones from our first father-daughter dance dealing with a few broken arms <laughs> our tuesday turkey dinners cruise experiences, your bat mitzvah, and graduations. Now I can add seeing married to the love of your life to that list. In summary, 
I wish you both health, happiness, and a long, joyful life together.